All right, so I thought I'd just make a quick two second video about the uh, Honda ADV 150 here because I just ran into a recent problem. Um, so let's uh, let's just whip back here. Let's get the key. Now, as you know, it's really important to save the battery on these keys by disabling. You see how it's blinking green? That means it's enabled. So it's broadcasting, here I am, where are you? Here I am, where are you? Uh, so you wanna press that key down and turn it red and that'll, that'll cut the key off and that'll save the battery for your key. But let's just cut it back on. Okay, so the other day I was going for a ride. <laughs> and the motorcycle was just dead as a doornail, man. So check it out right now. So because I got the key active. Look at here. Ah, it's back alive. Oh my god. Oh my god. So all right. So you know, I just kind of want to show you what I keep in the in the motorcycle. But I live in Florida, you know. So I'm sure that in your place, I got I got the hat in here. I got the motorcycle gloves. Uh, I keep those down in the seat. Now, why do I keep them in the seat? Because at one point I would just set them right here so that I would remember to put them on and then I took off and <laughs> lost my gloves because <laughs> I'm old and stupid you know so I just put them down in the seat and that way if I don't remember to put them on you know of course I make videos so I got my uh, my uh, um, video camera stick right here I bought a couple of extra of those uh, this is my bear spray woohoo you know because when I go hiking on the trails it's always good to have this handy and uh, I used to keep it in the camping equipment, but I just throw a bottle I got two of these so I just keep one in the motorcycle, you know, and I uh, you know I Gotta have your toilet paper <laughs> it, Sunscreen here in Florida, you know, you want your sunscreen down in there and then I do you know I keep an extra set of earplugs in in the motorcycle um, These are these are great uh, But most of the time I just use the the headphones uh, let's just keep going. So we got the, uh, the, the shopping bag. Okay. And, you know, I'm an environmentalist, you know, those plastic bags, they're bad for the environment. You know, what the hell? Why not just keep them down in here? Um, and I've learned, you know, sometimes you got an emergency and it's only happened to me once or twice. <laughs> and I want to gross you out. I didn't quite make it to the bathroom. So I had to throw shit away. So you know, it's always nice to keep a little plastic bag in here. Uh, and so and then the other thing is uh, the headphones. I always keep my Walkman down in here uh, Rechargeable batteries. I mean, you know, you you can do what you want I mean if you want to buy them alkaline batteries and throw them away. That's fine with you So uh, and then of course uh, I keep a memo pad with a couple of pens in here because you never know you sometimes you meet somebody or you have a thought and you just want to write some shit down you know because you know when you're old and stupid like me you might just forget about things but what the point of this video is is and we're getting to it was I left the lights on okay and uh, you know the dealer left this cord for me to use but I didn't know how to use it. I mean, what do you connect to this thing to recharge your battery? And I've got I've got two uh, wireless battery charges for the cars because back in the day I used to have to um, carry a you know a, a charger along just in case uh, the cars flaked out. So I'm going to try to get it on the see. So you see this little trap door right here on the front. Uh, I didn't even know this thing existed. I mean, when you look at the manual, it looks like the battery is right here, okay? And and that is wrong, okay? I, I you know, and I, thank God I didn't spend the time unscrewing all these bolts and trying to take the seat off to get to the battery. But really, all you got to do, just check this out. You just pop these little levers. Whoops. Uh -oh. So there you go. There's the battery, okay? So, um... You know, you just pop that cover off, and then what I did, let's see if I can get the flashlight on it. There you go. Okay. So there's your negative terminal, and there's your positive terminal. And they told me just put it on 10 amps for two hours. And uh, I hope I just didn't break my, uh, uh, my battery charger because I had it sitting right here because I wanted to show it to you. Uh, I guess I'll have to plug it in. But uh, you can see right here, I've got it set on 10 amps. This is a very old battery charger. I mean, you know, 
boy, they made the stuff good back in the day. So even though it fell off the motorcycle, I probably not bad. And you see, I got it on the 21050 on the left and not the maintenance charge. Um, so what they told me was they said, just uh, put it on 10 amps and uh, recharge that battery, which is what I did. And uh, so we'll see, you know, I, well, I shouldn't say we'll see. I, I charged it up and you just saw everything worked. So what I had done was I discharged that battery and then I recharged it. Uh, now, did that damage the battery? Probably a little bit. Uh, you don't want to be uh, taking a battery down to zero. Um, and that, you know, and that is one flaw that I don't like with these ADV 150s is, you know, if you leave it on, see, so check it out. Boom. You know, so when you come home, you know, and, you know, you pull it into the garage and you're thinking, oh, I'm done for the day, you know, and you hop off and you run into the house. Well, look, it's not like a car. Those lights don't cut off. Okay. They stay on and they'll drain that battery down to zero. So, you know, you know, like, come on, it's a, it's a, it's a 150 motorcycle. I completely understand. And they think you have the intelligence, you know, unlike me <laughs> to, to, to turn the damn switch off, you know, so that you, you, you know, you're not going to be running the headlights, but I guess I pulled it into the garage and I must've left the switch on and I've done it a couple of times, but luckily, you know, I always caught it because I'm always in and out of the garage. But I guess this one particular instance, I just left it on. And uh, boy, when I came out, this thing was dead as a doornail. Um, so, you know, let's just get it back on the battery. So I just wanted to make this little, uh, you know, stupid video about some of the stuff I carry around in the motorcycle. You're going to want to carry around whatever it is that that you're interested in. Uh, and you know, you know, we've got the, um, I just want to reiterate this because you might not have watched some of my other videos, but we've got the, the hiking stick strapped to this side and because it's Florida, we get a lot of rain. I've got the umbrella strapped to this side and, uh, you know, I mean, sure people could steal these, you know, uh, when I, when I leave the motorcycle, a lot of times I just leave them strapped on because obviously what am I going to do with them, you know? Um, and then of course we, we, I made a video about putting this carrier on, uh, so, you know, oh, by the way, uh, one thing about this carrier, and I just wanted to add this to this video is, uh, you see this, uh, little flap right here. Okay. See how I just rolled it up. That means this carrier can pop off and roll down the street. <laughs> you know, and, and I'm telling you, I've left it, you know, I've, cause if you don't, but what you got to do, and so sometimes when you get a lot of vibration or you're doing a, a trail or something, you know, um, this, this, this thing will rock right up on you. And because uh, you can see how easy it is to move. So what I got, what you got to do is you got to lock it. And that's why I keep that key right there. Uh, and has anybody ever stolen my key? No, I just leave it in there. Um, unless I got something valuable in this thing, but most of the time I'm just doing grocery shopping and, and I come out with the groceries and I put them in here. But you know, when, if you're going to ride around with the carrier, make sure that you turn this key and you lock it. So, uh, but I just wanted to show you I guys all that because I mean, here, you know, you learn about things as you go. And, uh, I, I never even thought about the fact. Oh, oh, and by the way, this is another thing. I keep all my documents right here. That's my uh, car insurance and uh, registration right there. I just keep it up in the seat. Um, so, you know, it's out of the way. Uh, so, all right, man. I guess that's about it for the Honda ADV 150 battery charge uh, video. Woohoo! You guys, uh, peace out and stay free.